Hey there, today I'm showing you how to paint these two parrots with gouache. So at first I did a pretty rough sketch of the two parrots and then I went on and made the sketch look more and more finished and better. And if you have a hard time copying that one, don't worry, I have these guidelines that you can use and you can get them in full resolution on my Patreon account. I will link that in the comment section as well as the description box of the video so you can just use those and transfer them onto the paper that you're using and then it's much easier or you can try to copy the ones that I did here if you feel more comfortable with it it doesn't have to look perfect just go on and try to copy the basic shapes and later on we will color it I just wanted to get the basic shapes down with a pencil first to make everything easier because it's always harder to go in with the paint first when it comes to a bit more complicated stuff like those two little parrots and here you can see that I was adding in more and more going a little bit back and forth between the two sketches just to let everything sink in and look at it later again. I always love to work on two pieces at a time because it makes it so much more fun. And then I used washi tape so we can get clean borders like I do most of the time. And then I mix a green and an orange tone and I did this kind of gradient in the background and I wanted the middle parts to be this light orange yellowish tone and to blend it in with the green tone and it's not perfect but I think that it's a cool blend and I think that that works really well with gouache because when the blend isn't perfect if you have water soluble gouache you can always go back and make the blend look even better with just a little bit of water and I think that that works really nicely here I did this kind of vignette from a light purple to uh, a light pink to a darker purple tone and I didn't make that one perfect, just went over it again and again, really didn't focus on making it too nice. I don't know, I like this painterly style and here you can see that I started adding in a little bit of greenery just to make the picture look a little bit more interesting and I think those super simple leaves, branches, whatever those are, they just add so much to the picture, make it look so much cooler and yeah. Then I started with the other parrot and I started with the beak and I used a very dark tone, it's almost black. I think I mixed in a tiny little bit of white and a little bit of blue, so it's a pretty dark tone and I really love that color, so I used it for the other bird as well. Did the same thing here and just kept looking at my reference picture to make sure that it looks cool but I simplified it quite a bit so that it would have this simpler style and look more illustrative and I did those little lines that he has in his face not obsessing over it too much just putting them roughly where they're supposed to be and adding in some details with a dark color and then I did a very light pink tone because I wanted my parrot to have a different color than the background and just wanted a fun color and thought that pink would be super fun so this one is pink and then I did a darker tone of the pink and added in the shadow part so I just built up all my colors and yeah just added in the darker tone here and painted all those little feathers and the shadow parts 
the darker tones were just beneath where the lighter ones are where the shadow would hit the subject but I tried to simplify it a lot just having all the shapes and colors in there that I absolutely need to make it look good but not really doing a photorealistic painting and while all that is drying I went on to the other parrot and I decided to make his face this light blue tone because I didn't want to leave this huge area white. I did it with the other parrot because it's just such a small area compared to here. So with this one I wanted to make it a light blue tone and then I added this dark tone bit here and this one I think was just straight up black color and yeah I just filled in this area and did all the details in his face with that color and later on added a little bit of shadow with this color as well to the beak and such and I also did the eye with this color if I remember correctly because I'm not doing that right now but yeah I started to paint the colorful feathers and this time I went with the original colors just changing them up slightly to make them look more interesting and as always you can use any kinds of colors that you want you can copy the ones that I use and try to mix them as well as you can but you can also use any kinds of colors that you want because I made one of my parents pink and you can do whatever you want it's your painting so here I did the blue part and the parrot kind of is goes over the border and this makes it look a little bit more three-dimensional and more interesting and I really really love that. I love to do that from time to time. So I removed the tape on the bottom piece, just on the bottom piece for now because I didn't need it anymore and I wanted to go over the borders with my little parrot and so I did that and here you can see that I tried to match the tone of the feathers and just kept them going over their border and I think that this looks just so cool and I'm thinking about turning these two into the prints of the month of September for Patreon at least the bottom one maybe both of them I'm just still thinking about it and here you can see that I was using the black tone now to add a little bit of shadow parts to the beak and to do the eye and now I did another layer for this dark part because sometimes with gouache you need more than one layer that's just completely normal and depending on your quality you might even need more than two layers and yeah just adding in the darker areas as well I added a darker blue to the wings and then a darker green to the head to make some shadow parts and then I started to paint the orange part here and yeah I also filmed everything for TikTok that's why you see my phone sometimes filming everything and here I filled in the feathers here and just the first layer and then started to paint this little stick branch whatever it is that he's sitting on in the same orange that I used in the top picture. I love to work from the same color palette when I do two pictures like that and I love that the parrots do have different colors and the backgrounds have different colors but overall I have the same color scheme for both paintings and I think that it makes it look really cool together. So here you can see that I used this purple, very reddish purple tone to make more shadows and I think that that really made it pop. I outlined the feathers trying not to make the line too thick and just added in more shadow parts and just that made it look so much more detailed and so much more interesting because it just makes it like I said pop more and just gives it the extra sharpness that it needed 
and this is just a darker tone that we had before and I just love working with a limited palette like I did here not using too many colors here I used a gray tone for the feet and then I started to use a darker orange tone for the orange bits that we had done before and then I decided to add more leaves to the background here as well or not more leaves just the first leaves that I did here so I did this dark green tone and just started painting super simple leaves because I thought that it would make make it look more interesting I don't know if I like it more that way or not but I did that so here it is and then I did some shadows on his feet and on this little stick as well just to make everything pop a little bit more and then I added in more details to the leaves that we have here so you can see that I went back and forth between the two paintings quite a lot because gouache needs to dry and that's a really good method to do that and it's just it makes it, the whole process more interesting if you work on two pieces at a time and here I painted his eyes I just had to repaint the pupils again because the eyes were so small and I used a jelly roll pen a white one to uh, just make it pop a little bit more against the background and then here you can see that I finished the eyes with some pens and then we were done those are the two finished paintings don't forget to check out my patreon if you want the guidelines a big shout out to all my Patreons, Revathy, Idana, Jean, Philin, Megan, Candy, Nadine, Tabea, Katie, Denise, Rachel, Deborah, Devon, Verena, Annika, Stephanie. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry if I said your name wrong. Thank you so much for being a supporter. It really means the world to me. And thank you to everyone for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did so, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Next time, goodbye.